It's really about performance, how well the federal government responds to crises. An activist government, like the one we have now, should be on the ball real quickly. Sadly, this administration, with the Ohio train wreck, has again dropped the ball. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, that's FEMA, just hours ago rejected Ohio's request for emergency aid. The head of the Environmental Protection Agency, David Regan, waited two weeks to visit the site. He insisted that testing had not revealed any serious contamination. But Republican Senator J.D. Vance took a video showing chemicals bubbling up in local streams. And local people continued to complain about headaches and rashes. And where, oh where, is the Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg? Like border czar Kamala Harris, who won't go to the border, so Pete Buttigieg won't go to Ohio. Instead, he tweets about a rule change for train breaks under the Trump administration. He blames Trump. The criticism of the secretary has been so intense, so much so, that Karine Jean-Pierre had to insist that the president does indeed have absolute confidence in Mayor Pete. By the way, let's not forget that Mayor Pete is in charge of $660 billion worth of green spending, two-thirds of a trillion dollars. His performance in Ohio, his two-month paternity leave during the supply chain crisis and the airport shutdowns suggest he's just not up to the job. You want to be all government all the time. You better perform and get the job done or resign.